Hi guys, good evening. So here we are going to see about you know the data stage which is called the ETL2 and you know in uh, the current uh, scenario like you know that the most of people are focusing on the data stage you now the ETL tool called you know uh, in a ETL tool we have so many you know tools we have right so data stage Informatica, Vinicio, Talent and then we have so many you know tools in a ETLs to you know for reporting purpose for analysis for migrating the data from you know the databases to other databases so if you want to do any transformation and also we can achieve all the things in the data stage so uh, one by one we are going to cover in this training So I'm having, you know, three plus years of experience in IT industry. First, uh, like I'm a graduate, I'm also an engineer with you know, uh, and I have graduated at, uh, uh, at the year of 2016. And then I got placed in Infosys as a technology support specialist. And then there I was working as a, which means, you know, I need to work in the data stage side and then uh, support side as well. So if the people want to work, you know, want to learn about a data stage and all, they, then they should know about the data stage tool. So that, that is not enough. So we should have a knowledge about the SQL part, which means the structured query language and then Unix part as well so we should know all these three things so then only you know uh, we will be a better you know developer and then we can do the things so uh, as a developer you know we need to do the support steps and all rights so that have started my things and then there i was working as support and then development role and after two years i got an opportunity to work in an otcs as well and then in, in here also i'm a data stage developer so in this training so we will we are going to see about the data stage basic steps and all so i'm going to give you know the complete overview of the data stage what is mean by etl so everything we are going to see it, okay yeah, that's about me. I, actually, other than this, and then I worked in uh, admin side as well. So I know have been involved in all things like a database administration role also have idea, and then I know data stage or support also have worked, and then data stage development also have worked, and then in Informatica also have uh, ideas how it is working, how we can do the things and all. So that's all about me. And yeah, the scope of the demo was so which I you know informed earlier. So we should know, right? So uh, without knowing what is etl and all we should not you know start the things right so first we should know what is etl why we need to learn it where we can use it so whether it is in the boom in the current stages and all so we should know everything right so in this you know demo i will let you know the things like what is data stage what is etl but you know why we need this tool like to use it okay so this is a main scenario which we are going to cover and then once we started the classes then i will you know in in depth i will cover everything so what about the stages you know how we can use and all so i will you know let you know the things one by one so in here we are going to cover the basic overview of the etl okay okay so this is a course outline so before we start into the class so what is etl okay so we should know that right so etl means uh, first let me give uh, you know uh, expansion for that you know e means extraction t means transformation l means loading so i think you people know about that right extraction means we are going to fetch uh, you know are going to fetch some details from the database and then transformation means we are going to do some transformation like operation or we are going to make some modification in that extraction data and all and then finally we are going to load it so this is the main usage of etl okay so what is the use why we need this actually right so first we should know that right why i should learn this so when i have a starter even i'm not sure what is etl and all right so then i came to know what is the use of etl so etl is mainly used for reporting purpose and then you know for doing some you know, analytical process and all okay so which means analytical process means if you want to do some summarization if you want to do make some changes or uh, suppose uh, in a real time and all you know suppose for example you can take you know for retail shop and all right so the owner you know uh, he may have multiple shops in multiple areas right so uh, they are coming to us and then they are asking us to summarize the data and then they you know want us to create the report for that right
right? So directly we cannot do everything in a database, but the people can store the information in the database, but they cannot analyze, they cannot do the analytical process and all, right? So there ETL comes to the picture. So that what we can do, we can summarize everything, we can do the entire history of the you know the data, and then they can load it. Just assume like that owner have a shop in Tamil Nadu as well as in a Karnataka in in a multiple places. Okay, so now he wants to know like. Uh, you know summarize all the data in a single database or something and then for reporting purpose and all where it where that particular unit has sold where, where that particular shirt has sold so he wants to know everything right so accordingly he can increase the advertisement he can increase the product as well everything right so he should know everything right so for that only we are using it so with the help of etl so we can fetch the details from the multiple sources of like maybe in tamil nadu they you know they might have stored the data in the database in oracle database but in karnataka they might have stored the data in a db2 and in other teams and all they are using you know they are storing the data in a, a text file so in multiple formats right but in a target side we should keep it in a you know single shot and then when the users are trying to fetch the details they should understand that understand that right so for that only we are using it mainly so we'll extract the details from the different environment different platform uh, oracle databases everything and then whatever the transformation that is depends on the things and all right so that depends on the transformation depends on the requirements and all so we are going to do some transformation and then finally we will load it for you know user friendly things okay so this is about the basic overview of etl why we need it where we are going to use it okay so i'm not telling only we have a data stage under etl as i have told earlier we have so many tools but you know in the current stage and all most of the people are working in data stage because it is you know very user friendly comparing to other tools and all and it is very booming you know the current era. so around topics uh, i will let you know the process of etl okay so i will show you like how it looks like and then what are the stages we are going to use it and then how we are loading because theoretically we are saying the things right but anyhow anyway, we should know practically right how we are fetching the details how it is working and all right so in here we are going to cover those areas as well and then fundamentals of data warehousing concept as i you know informed earlier like this data stage tool is mainly used for you know reporting purpose as well right so directly we cannot do the reporting steps and all so there you know data warehousing concept comes to the picture so in a data warehousing means in here also we can store entire history of the data and then and here only we are going to see the dimension table fact table star schema snowflake schema and then types of time and sense so everything we are going to cover it okay so that is about uh, fundamentals now we are not going to cover everything in a everything so as a developer whatever the things we should know we are going to everything so we'll cover everything okay so and then after that uh, we have a concept called components in data stage so before we should go to the data stage we should know right whatever uh, tools we have like on a data stage means we are having you know multiple clients actually data stage designer data stage, data stage director data stage administrator and as well as you know data stage client and all okay so for data stage developer means they have access for data stage designer and then data stage director okay so we have a separate team actually so if you are you now making a move for a data stage administrator so we should be in administration side at that level we should know everything actually so if you are looking to you know work in a development side then better definitely you can take this course and then you can craft all the things and then definitely you know you will get a chance to work in any of the industry okay and then we'll cover how to design the jobs in the data stage designer as well okay so we have a multiple clients right data stage designer director you know client manager and then administrator everything right uh, anyhow as a developer as a product developer you need to design the things in the data stage designer so we are going to cover everything in these things so you know the class is completing and all i will provide a pdf for that or you know sometimes i will you know prepare the documentation for that and then i will give it to you so you can you know go through that and if you have any doubts and all you can ask me and then you know whatever the things and all and as well as i will give the link for that so you can go to the link as well because you know more than as google knows everything right so if you have any doubts and all so if you want to you know execute some of the scenarios then it will be very helpful so you can take some of the scenarios from the google and then you can try it out by yourself
but theoretically definitely i will help you and in practically also i'm ready to help you and if you have any doubts at all then you can ask me i will provide the pdf as well as link for that and regarding the projects let me give uh, the demo projects so as of now i have mentioned like i have worked in these two domain one is a uh, insurance domain and then one is a uh, banking domain so we are going to cover you know both of the things in a uh, banking what we are doing and then insurance what we are doing okay i will let you know the things and uh, in these projects and all how it is coming and all okay so in this insurance project and all i think few people might have aware about this insurance right so what is insurance how the people are claiming how much you know how much they are rising like i think you might have uh, you know know about those things right so i will give the you know overview of these things as well so we are going to cover these two projects as you know like a basic projects so i'm just telling you like this is a real time project as well so i i, I was working for these days so i think you will get more things from in you know, a banking what i have done and then insurance what i have done and then what is my roles and responsibility how i have done that in a real time how the people are expecting you know you know uh, things and all so everything we are going to cover it so in all the domains as a developer you need to take a things you need to do a transformation and then you have to load it in some other areas but main part is you know etl so the t is very important right so extraction is you know it will be very it's not very difficult right so within you know few hours of time or few days so you can learn that extraction and then loading is not in a big deal actually so transformation comes to the picture so in a transformation only we have a lot of transformation right so we are going to cover everything in this you know presentation upcoming session and all. yeah so for this i'm just requesting you to have a setup and all okay so suppose if you are you know learning not about the data stage at all so whenever you are learning whenever you are you now trying to learn any of the new technologies right so first you have the setup right so first you have the setup with this system requirement so because if you have a system requirement so whatever you have learned you can try it in your system with the help of this you know it's a kind of real time only right with the help of some demo data and all you can do the thing whatever you know client is asking so you can try it in your a local system as well right so for that definitely we should have a system for that right so try to get right have a laptop in your handy so you can do the things by yourself so okay so this is all the rec requirements and all system requirements you should have these requirements so it, it will be you know uh, performance wise everything will be better right so so try to get that yeah and then once the course has been completed you know we are going to evaluate the people like suppose you want to know like uh, what are the uh, uh, you know how much i'm aware of these things and all i'm okay with the data stage i have learned the things and all if you want to know about yourself then definitely we are ready to take a mock interview as well so you can attend that you can take the things from you know for the people and i'm ready to help you so uh, after the completion of all the courses we are going to uh, you know we are going to take a mock interview as well so there it's a kind of real time right so because i have faced you know so much of interviews more than you know 15 interviews and all so whatever the questions they are expecting in a real time and then how we can answer for that and then how we can clear the interviews and all right so we are going to cover everything in the mock interviews and then i'm i know i will i'm, I'm going to help you with that okay and then certification and all have done in uh, you know have done the uh, azure certification like in you know, a fundamental side because i'm just planning to make a move in cloud as well Uh, because you know in, in in the meanwhile now the cloud is also in the boom right so uh, if you know cloud stuffs and all like it will be very helpful to you know make you know uh, the future in a great way so uh, i have done with this certification and the parallelly i am just preparing for the oracle certification as well and then i'm planning to do for the data stage certification as well because this current situation and all the people are looking for the certification as well right so while you are doing the certification it is also you now helpful for the people actually like you you will get to know the things theoretically as well practically because in the certification they used to ask so many things because if you are doing the sql steps and all they used to raise so many questions right so you Uh, will you know get to know the things more well so i am just uh, suggesting you like take a certification as well as have a laptop in your handy for doing you know the regular courses and also once we completed the courses then you should have a laptop to do the things right so i will give the scenarios for that so you can try that and then you know you, you can try to implement those steps in your personal laptop and all okay so that's all about me so thank you for that so after the completion of the 
certification and all we are going to give the certificate for that okay so have a nice day then uh, i'm looking forward you to join in the session and we are going to you know see we are going to cover all the things in our data stage okay thank you all thank you so much so better you take up a certification as well as have a you know better specified laptop and all after that thank you for attending the demo session so if you i know uh, really want to join with me you want to really want to learn the things and you know what is etl what is data stage or you want to cover everything in the etl part just join with me and then we are going to learn okay so this below are the contact number so you can contact if you have any queries and all and then uh, here uh, we have uh, you know email id as well so if you have any queries you can connect with the people and as well as you know you can Uh, send a mail to this you know mention mail id so you they, they will you know let you know all the details okay so yeah thank you so much guys so have a nice day so we'll see in a course time okay thank you so much yeah